In a previous lesson, I showed you how to convert exponential equations to logs. In this lesson, we're going to do it the other way around. We're going to convert from log to exponential. I want you to quickly write down two formulas. So just write down base to the power of exponent equals to other. Then I want you to write down exponent equals to log base other. Okay, I know that that probably doesn't make any sense right now and your life is probably super stressful and now here's this dude on YouTube making you write down this random stuff. Trust me, I um, promise you this is going to make sense in a few examples. Okay, so let's begin. So here I've got the thing that I asked you to write down. So all that you're going to do now, okay, um, and you can call these whatever you want. I think these words just summarize it better or the best in my opinion, okay? So what I want you to do is realize that this is a log, okay? So go to the one that's a log and just fill everything in. So for example, um, the part that's at the bottom of the logs, that would be this part. We call that the base, okay? And then the, the part over here, that's called the other. So you're just going to say other. And then the part that's by itself, that's called the exponent. So now, to be able to rewrite that as an exponent exponential equation, just do it like this. So it says that we start with the base. So the base was uh, a, so we say a. Then we take the exponent, which is c, and the other was b. Done. That is how you do it. That is, you have now converted from a log to an exponential. Okay, now I know right now you're like, yeah, but how am I supposed to remember this? Trust me, it's super easy. Um, write it down on a piece of paper a few times. Trust me, you should do that because eventually, um, I've seen a lot of learners, they forget the order. Okay, so let's quickly try that again. So here's a log, right? So we know that if we look at this, then the part that's by the log is called the base. So that's the base. Eventually, you won't need to memorize this. You'll know it. Um, this part here is the other. So that's other. And then the part that's by itself is what we call the exponent. So if you now want to just go write this down, it says that you must start with the base, which is x. Then you take the exponent, which is the w. And then the other is the y. There we go. Finished. Here's another one. So this one's written the other way around. So this is a log. So you just copy this one. So the thing that's on the left by itself, that's the exponent. Uh, then the thing that's by there is called the base. And the thing that's over there is called other. So now you just copy this one to write it as an exponential. So you start with the base, which is 2. You take the exponent, which is y. And then the other is w. Now we're actually going to use all of this and solve equations. So let's first start by realizing that this is a log. So we need to just go copy. So we know that uh, this part is the exponent. So that is the exponent. Then this part over here is um, the base. And then this part is the other. Okay, so that's other. Now, if we want to rewrite that as an exponential, then what we would do is you start with the base, which is 2. Then you take the exponent, which is the 3. And then the other is x. Now you can actually find x. You see x is over here by itself. So you just have to literally figure out what is 2 to the power of 3. Well, that's going to be 8. And so there's the answer. x is 8. Here's another one. So let's start by copying this once again. So the thing that's by itself, that's the exponent. The thing over there is called the base. And then this is the other. So if we are to go rewrite it now as an exponential, you would take your base, which is 2, your exponent, which is the 9, and then the other, which is x. Now, this I would advise typing on the calculator. It's going to be quite a big number. Oh, actually, not that big. Come on, Kevin, don't be dramatic. It's 512. So that is the answer for that one. Here's the next example. So by now, you should be getting a better idea that this is the base, uh, this is the exponent, and this is the other. So if we now had to go rewrite it as an exponential, we would say base, which is x, then it's to the exponent, which is a 9, and then it's the other, which is a 3. Now, to get this x alone, we're going to have to take the ninth root on both sides. So we're going to say, so then that would make x on the left, and then this you just type on the calculator. Trust me, no teacher is going to expect you to know the ninth root of 3. Uh, it's going to be one point. 1.1298, but if we round that to two decimals, for example, then it'll be 1.13. Here's our last example. So um, we have a log here. So we copy this. So we take exponent. Then we make that equal to log of uh, base. 
and then this here is the other. So if we rewrite it as an exponential, then we're going to take the base and then exponent, and then we make that equal to the other, which is 3. So x to the power of 1 is just x, so then x would just be equal to 3.